Thank the Lord that the Violet Candy Pop Bot is still there! Hey guys, my name is Nutch, and welcome back to Pikmin 2! Last time, we explored sub-level 1, 2, and 3 of the Frontier Cavern! And we also found a Spotty Ball Bear, which is definitely not, not good! Those things are such jerks! And now we're here on the sub-level 4, we got Anno Beetles! Die! Die! What is that? Hey, hey, you're not allowed to do that! It, oh, boy, oh, I thought we could kill it in time! No meaning for you guys! It didn't hit it! Thank you! And what is that? It's Bumbling Sniff Dog, okay. And, oh, hey, I shall take it! I shall- WAH! Shake! Yeah, uh, when you get snatched up by a bumbling snitch bug, start shaking the shit out of the joy- uh, out of the joystick, and you'll be let go. Let free! Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just put some- make some more purples with the red- oh, makes- yeah. Uh, bumbling and swooping snitch bugs, are you serious? This is going to be annoying with anode beetles as well. I'm going to need those yellows back. We got, a, we got a marble. What is this? Uh, Omniocen... Omniocen... Senient... Omniocenient... Senient... Omni... <laughs> Omniocent... <laughs> it's a red sphere! <laughs> I, like I said before, I am not good when it comes to, like, words that I don't know, like, I don't know how to pronounce them, like, I've only seen them once, or it's just hard for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, looks like we have to go in there with just our yellows. Uh, I could just take down the swooping snitch bug. Oh, there's two of them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Die! Die! I'm helping! I'm helping! Woo! And now you? Yeah! Don't carry the swooping snitch bug back! We want to kill this guy! We want them to die! What the hell was that? What the hell? Everything's going to shit! Well, not really! There we go! Uh... Where is that? Oh, there you are! <laughs> Found you! I think this is the last treasure on this floor. I think it is. Okay, let's get every single one of our yellows on there. Um... I don't think there's gonna be anything else. Hey -ho. I might as well just wait at the thing! Stay away from me, bumbling snitch bug. I, oh, oh, that is right. I completely forgot I had these in the ground. <laughs> Whoopsie! Don't want to leave this floor without picking up these guys. I'm gonna need every single one I can get. <laughs> there we go. And... Uh, you might notice, uh, all the, uh, some of the treasures here are indeed Christmas themed here in the Frontier Cavern. We got that present, we got that boots, uh, what else did we get? Innocence Lost. Okay. Now we got the star that you put on top of a Christmas tree. And, that's it. Okay. On to sub-level 5. I didn't have to, <laughs> didn't have to kill all those anode beetles. And those bumbling snitch bugs. It was just those swooping snitch bugs were going to be a problem. I really wanted to get rid of those guys, but they were annoying. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this is a Nirvana floor. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And check it out. New enemy. This here is a Mamuta. Mamutas were a secret boss in the first game. And oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Uh, it... Oh? Huh? What? Why did you drop? What? Oh, come on. Why, why didn't they drop? 
Uh, okay, so Mamutas, secret boss in the first game, uh, been downgraded to only appearing in certain dungeons. Uh, Mamutas, they are harmless creatures, but they can attack you when, uh, when provoked. Uh, they smack down Pikmin with incredible force in the ground, but they don't kill them. It, in fact, flowers them, so it helps them out. But, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I still like to kill them because, uh, Smokey Prog and all that. And Lapis, Lapis Candy Pop Butter right over here. I just wanted to transform five blues into five more blues. Because Ivory and Violet Candy Pop Butter, I don't want to pass this up and, ooh, new enemy over here. Uh, those blue dweevils in the back, those are caustic dweevils. Caustic dweevils are basically, uh, just water versions. Yeah, they spray water. Hey. Okay. I guess it doesn't disappear unless you put something other than blues in there. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let me have a look at the numbers real quick to see what I want to transform. Uh, I could do, I could do yellows. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some yellows. There we go, and these, uh, these butterflies over here, these, uh, red and purple unmarked specter lids. Uh, they basically, upon being killed, they drop potions. Like, the purple ones drop, drop the purples, and the red drop reds. But, for some reason, I don't, I don't know why, but it didn't do it. I don't know why, but it did. Now, something tells me that I want to keep 25 blues on hand, but at the same time, I don't want to throw any more reds. I think what I'm going to do is, I am going to, yeah, those, those sprouts, newly sprouted uh, uh, leaves, one, two, three, four, five. Oh crap! Come on! That it, it, it. Don't run into it. We want to get it done. There we go. I say twenty blues is a pretty good number, as we still need to go through water in this dungeon. But we do. We have so many purples on hand. We are unstoppable, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Now, this Nirvana floor is actually very special. There is a certain treasure here that a Mamuta is holding. And we want to get rid of it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, uh... The, one of the unmarked specter lids basically was a get down, Mr. President! And, ooh, ooh, don't carry that bag, don't carry that bag. Yeah, die! It's not this one. It's probably the one near the exit. We want to kill this guy. Adding to the Piclopedia! Hey, come on. Thank you. And eh, might as well kill you. Why not? Why not? Bro! Yeah! This right here! That is something really unique. <laughs> <Pick a mess. laughs> oh, I love it when the corpses are just basically disappear in cutscenes, and when you when you surround it, it's basically a whole circle of Pikmin. As Chugger Connery once said, "The Pikmin world peace." Processing. How strange this antip antipical metal object came from inside that bizarre being. It appears to be a giant metal hand. Perhaps it is an ancient work of art. Ew. Well, let's get this. Shall we? What the hell? Oh, you're picking up that. Why are we picking up a Bermuda? No, it's not a boss item. It's not a boss. It used to be, but not anymore. Is there any flat uh, leaves in there? No. Okay. Run! Drink up! Okay, some of them didn't get it, but it's okay. It, oh, we got that one purple leaf. That's gonna suck. That sucks. 
Okay. We got a key item. Check it out. Punch. 8,050 Pokos. Wow, we are close to completing the death. Brute Knuckles. This object seems to be a replicate, a, a, a replicate, a human, a replicate, a humanoid fist. A glove like, lo, glove much like a once lay in a junk hole. I, it once, oh my god. And here is this, that is very glove, here that is, is that very glove. I have just found the missing rocket fist in my junk hole. Tap A three times to launch it. One, two, punch. Yep. Okay. So, demonstrating the power of the uh, rocket rocket punch. Having no Pikmin in hand, watch very closely to Olimar. One, two, whoa, boom! Yep. He's got now a third punch, and it does a little bit more damage. And no more treasure on this floor. Let's continue. Is it helpful? Kinda. I mean, you are dependent on the Pikmin strength, but I mean. Take down like a dwarf bulb orb or something, or even like a skitter leaf or a water dumple. I don't know. Sky's the limit, and I remember this floor. This floor is a jerk. Oh my god, it is. Okay. Come here. And oh! I remember it being on this floor. I just. I just didn't lose any pigment in the process. Okay, well, I really wanted to show it off, but I guess we'll do it at some point. There is, there are more dungeons where you can find, uh, three of them? Really? Three of them here? Hit water dumpling? <laughs> I love this trick. <laughs> and, yeah, you guys are gonna be a pain in the Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> uh, you are going to be a problem. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Yo, die! Yay. Don't throw them. Who gives you the right to throw these guys? How many purples do I have, actually? 25, wow! Uh, we're gonna be depending on blues here. Uh, I think... Oh, wait! No. I know there's a... Oh, it's right there. Oh, oh why do you know? Uh, well, let's get this treasure right here. I'm pretty sure this is a queen piece in chess. And the white piece over there is a key. I am horrible when it comes to chess. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I just hope for the best that I'm actually trying to do something. Uh, get it right. Get it right. Ooh, ooh. Okay, come on. No, come on. Shoot the. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna assume this is the queen piece. Priceless statue, and I, oh yeah, the other statue's name, that's pretty, that's pretty funny. Is, uh, the queen piece is actually a, is a really good piece, but the, the one that, like, you like, that, like, basically wins the game, is that you need to get rid of the king piece and put him in checkmate. Uh, I want to kill you with the bold strat. And what the fuck is this boulder doing? Oh, wait, hang on! I got now, I got a new punch! I can do it! Yeah, die! <laughs> Not too bad! And I'm pretty sure that was the tr only, tr only treasure on this floor. So let's just pick that up. Let's pick it up. Yeah, where's the exit? Where the hell's the exit? What? Oh, it's right out front of the base! Okay. <laughs> that, okay, that's weird. Olimar, come back. So, we got Priceless Statue for the Queen. Uh, and this one's a pretty funny name for the King piece. Well, we'll get into that. Oh, 25 purples. Whee! Why am I throwing them? I don't know. Trying to pass the time while these guys are carrying this thing back. Okay, so, Priceless Statue for the Queen. And now I've got the King piece. 
Check it out. We have worthless statue. <laughs> yeah, but it just does not do anything that helpful in chess. You just move it around and hope for the best that you don't get in checkmate. <laughs> wait, did I just leave? Oh, wait, I think there were the only treasures on that floor. I hope. I think it was. I'm gonna be quite ashamed of myself if it wasn't. Oh! 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 No! Oh! Oh! I, I appear. I, I, I appear to be in danger. Oh crap. Okay then. Um, I'm free! Oh! Okay. Yeah, okay, uh, 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 you made your, you made your point game, I'm not gonna go near that thing. Okay, so, new introduction of another trap. Boulder traps! They fall from the, they fall from the ceiling and you won't know uh, when they're there because it's basically just a, uh, it's like a bomb rock trap but there's a shadow indicating that it's going to appear and you only have a few seconds to react. Uh, upon being hit by them, instant death for Pikmin, yeah, crush. Uh, it's not until Pikmin 3 is that we got a Pikmin that's impervious to being crushed. <laughs> Why is it a thing? <laughs> Why do I have to fight orange bulbs? Uh, and we got a- ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get this. Let's just leave. And I'm not too sure if an orange bulb or- uh, oh, is it fountain? Fountain water geyser, really? I'm pretty sure this is the second sub level. I'm not too sure. Ah! <laughs> uh, more, more of you guys on there, please. Uh, Omar, you can do this. The, uh, how many blues do I have in hand? Eh, uh, wouldn't hurt to put a few more in. Oh, here we go. What do we have here? Oh! It's one of those bell things. Spousal her. Okay. Wee wee wee! Oh, wee. <laughs> I know, I know. Why are you looking here? Why are you looking over there? <sighs> this sucks. Let's just go. Yeah, let's go around here. <laughs> Here we go, and now you die. Got it! Yay! Yay! The orange bulb orbs are dead. Uh, might as well kill you. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. So we do have to go in that room with the bulb orb facing the direction that we're looking at. No. And why put a why put a child there? Okay, hang on, hold the phone. Yeah. Okay, for orange bulbos that are light sleepers, a boulder right in front of it does not wake it up. Yeah, okay. This must be a sense of smell sort of thing. That sucks. Why is that a thing? But, now that we took care of the child... DIE! <laughs> oh, the face it made! Oh my god, that was, that was funny. Oh, the, oh! Oh! How did you... How did you... How did you guys survive that? I'm impressed. Uh, oh, I can't oh, this game is so ruthless. Why is this such a ruthless game? Uh, is it buried treasure? Oh, iridescent. Wait, what? Oh, I guess sometimes iridescent uh, glint beetles might not have anything of value. Yeah, come on, hit it! Yeah! Yeah, so I guess sometimes iridescent glint beetles just don't, uh, have treasure on them. Okay, um, I'm gonna do the trick for one of them. 
I feel like that would be a good, good thing. Like, you come here. Hey, get out of here. Go away! Hey, Dad, don't be a hog! And now I drink it for myself. Yeah, see, look, Olimar doesn't even... Yeah, he goes into it, but he just doesn't drink it. So, my guess is that it's... A... Wait, what? Where's the treasure? Where is this treasure? Wait, so basically that room was just useless, and I basically threw my life almost away so I could get an iridescent glint beetle? Ah! <laughs> no! Dude! Please, game! Stop being a jerk! Ooh, yo-yo! Okay. You made up. You made up for it, game. I like yo-yo. I used to be really good at uh, yo-yoing when I was a kid, but not anymore. Now I just. Now I'm a juggling man. I'm actually really good at juggling. It took me ages to master it, but I got there, and now I like juggling. And here we go. What's this one called? I kind of forgot the treasure name. What is it? Flame Tiller. Not bad. Okay, no more treasure on this floor. I'm pretty sure this is the second to last sub level. So once we go down here, it's gonna be the final one. And looking at the time now, I think I might leave it for the next episode. I, th I think that is a good, uh, good thing to do. Let me just look at, let's look at the layout. Yep, this is the last one. Last floor. And oh, something made a cry. We're not gonna, we're not gonna know about that until the next episode. Uh, oh, what the hell? I didn't explore this area yet. Why is it already late? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna put it on pause because I know for a fact that something is coming our way. So next time on Pikmin 2, we're gonna take down the boss of the Frontier Cavern. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all have a good one.